Now we are going to run through the essential parts of a shipping container. For a door to work, you need hinges. Pins hold the shipping container's hinges together through a barrel. In certain cases, when doors are difficult to open, hinge pins and blades may be seized due to corrosion. Each door is fitted with two to four vertical lock rods to enable opening, closing, and locking of the doors. The door handle rotates the lock bar to initiate the door opening process by forcing the cams out of their keepers. Each door handle has a door locking handle retainer that slides over the door handle when in locked position. At the end of each lock rod is a cam welded in place, which engages with knuckles, also known as cam keepers. The action of engaging the cams to the keepers forms an anti-racking function. In certain cases, often unfortunately too many, contents of the shipping container may have shifted, causing shipping container doors and lock rods to warp. When opening a shipping container, start with the right-hand door first. Swivel the handles, engage the cams and keepers, and twist both door handles. Closing the doors is just a reverse of this process. The lock box is a steel box welded to the right-hand door, which overlaps a staple welded to the left-hand door. A padlock, normally CISA type 28566, can then be attached inside the lock box through the staple and is then protected from direct attack, hindering attempts to gain entry to the container. ISO markings and a consolidated data plate allow worldwide intermodal transport and are updated as necessary. Take note that customs authorities in some countries may also have their own container seal regulations as part of their national security. Rubber gaskets are fitted to the container doors during the manufacturing process and prevent water ingress. Door gaskets are designed to present two or more fins against the structure or adjacent door. These are generally flexible, but when the gasket is damaged, they may become stiff, thus jamming the door closed or preventing it from being closed. Shipping containers often take a beating traveling around the world. Being exposed to freezing conditions and rust due to seawater or when the frost has melted, during the cold season and in freezing parts of the world, our shipping container tool can benefit the opening and closing of frozen shipping container doors and hard to open or rusted containers. Injuries can often occur as a result of personnel trying to open and close difficult container doors and are often the result of inappropriate techniques being used to open them. To aid in opening and closing shipping container doors, we introduce Open Bar. Thanks, man. Yeah. Slide it on there. Helps pop the door. And here. Lean on it. Gives you great leverage rather than using your uh, your own shoulders and back. And closing, same again. The right hand door closes in the left hand rod. We do, do that. Back. A lot of times these latches or the top and down below will get jammed. So here you go. Does the product work as advertised? A absolutely. Studies show that 50% of all trucking injuries are due to sprains and strains. To help offset these unwanted expenses, we introduce Open Bar, a 3-in-1 shipping container safety leverage tool, tire thumper, and fifth wheel release hook. 
Our product was originally designed for opening and closing truck trailers and shipping container doors with the safety for the operator foremost in mind. A lot of research and testing has been performed to create our product for the purpose of assisting its operators. Its versatility allows for increased productivity while promoting workplace safety. We're confident in the quality of our tool with features such as three layers of rust inhibitors, rating up to 53,000 PSI, is anti-corrosive to gas and oil, and made of quality materials in the good old USA. We invite you to give us a try. Open bar. Safe. Strong. Reliable.